OpenAI has officially launched what might be its most ambitious step yet in the entire agentic AI space. It's called a ChatGPT agent, and it's not just a smarter chatbot. This thing actually gets things done for you. It fully handles tasks using its own virtual computer. We're not just talking about summarizing articles or writing poems. No, this goes way beyond that. We're now entering the era of full task automation, web interaction, API integration, editing spreadsheets, even generating editable slide decks. And here's the kicker. It does all this in its own virtual machine, a full computer environment that spins up separately from your device. So let's dive into it. ChatGPT Agent is essentially the next-gen fusion of OpenAI's previous experiments. Remember Operator? That was the agent that could browse the web, click links, scroll pages, and fill out forms. Then came Deep Research, a more behind-the-scenes analyst that scoured dozens of websites, pulled insights, and compiled them into incredibly coherent human-quality summaries. Now, OpenAI has combined the best parts of both those tools, layered them into ChatGPT's familiar conversational interface, and added even more powerful new tools, like access to a terminal, API connectors to your favorite apps, think Gmail, GitHub, and both text-based and visual web browsers. That's the powerful blend fueling this new agent. So what can it actually do? This isn't some experimental, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't kind of demo. The ChatGPT agent is rolling out right now to pro, plus, and team users. If you're on one of those plans, you'll see an agent mode option in the ChatGPT tools drop down. And once you turn on, you just prompt it like you normally would. But what happens next is completely different. You could ask something like, hey, find three competitors to my product, analyze their pricing, and make me a slide deck comparing all three. And it'll act. Now imagine this, you're planning dinner. You ask it to plan and buy ingredients to make a Japanese breakfast for four people. Done. It'll find recipes, create a shopping list, search grocery sites, add the items to your cart, and then prompt you to log in so it can complete the purchase. Always with your confirmation, of course. It's not just automatic, it's collaborative. You can pause the agent at any time, take over manually, tweak the task, or cancel it entirely. And if it gets stuck, or you're just curious, you can ask it for a full progress report. But real quick, if you've been watching all these AI updates and wondering, okay, this is wild, but what can I actually do with it? You're definitely not alone. That's exactly why we created the AI Income Blueprint a free guide showing seven practical ways everyday people are using AI to create extra income streams on the side. No coding skills required. Most of it is plug and play automation using tools I regularly feature on this channel. You can grab it free. Just click the link in the description. And here's something else. If you're using the ChatGPT app on your phone, you'll get a push notification when the agent finishes a task. Seriously, it's that smooth. Now the big question, how well does it actually perform? That's where things get really interesting. On what's known as humanity's last exam, one of the toughest multi-subject AI no benchmarks out there, so covering thousands of expert level questions across over 100 fields. The ChatGPT agent scored a 41.6% on its first try, pass out one. That's nearly double the score of OpenAI's earlier models like GPT, for many, or GPT, 3.5. But it gets even better when they let the agent run eight parallel attempts and select the most confident answer. That score jumped to 44.4%. That's a massive leap in task-level intelligence. Then there's Frontier Math, currently considered the most difficult math benchmark out there. It's packed with novel, unpublished problems that often stump experts for hours, sometimes even days. With tool use enabled, meaning it could access things like a terminal to run code. The ChatGPT agent achieved a 27.4% score. Now, that might not sound massive if you're not familiar with benchmark data, but for context, OpenAI's previous best model, GPT, for many, only managed 6.3% on the same test. That's more than a 4x improvement, but it doesn't stop at academic performance. OpenAI ran the agent through internal evaluations designed around real-world business tasks. Things like modeling out financial projections, building amortization schedules, or doing competitive research on urgent care clinics. 
These weren't generic prompts made by AI. The tasks were created by industry experts, and then top human professionals completed them. So OpenAI could directly compare the agent's work against theirs. And get this, ChatGPT agent either matched or beat those human-level results in about half of the tasks. That's modeling work at the level of investment banking analysts. Stuff like creating leveraged buyout models for Fortune 500 companies. It handled everything. Clean formatting, proper citations, multi-tab spreadsheets, you name it. Speaking of spreadsheets, they tested it on something called Spreadsheet Bench, a massive benchmark with 912 real-world spreadsheet tasks, from editing to data analysis. In a LibreOffice environment on Mac OS, the ChatGPT agent scored 35.27%, but when it was allowed to directly edit .xls files, that number jumped to 45.54%. For comparison, Copilot in Excel scores around 20%. Humans, of course, are still better. They clock in at 71.33%. But the ChatGPT agent is now over halfway there. Even on more subtle tasks like DS Bench, which focuses on full data science workflows, modeling, analysis, interpretation, the ChatGPT agent actually outperformed the human baseline. That's a huge deal because it shows this isn't just a flashy front end trick. The actual output, whether it's slides, spreadsheets, or code, can now match or even outperform what many skilled professionals create manually. And then there's web browsing. Earlier this year, OpenAI released a benchmark called BrowseCon. It tests how well agents can navigate the internet to find very specific, hard to locate information. The ChatGPT agent didn't just perform well, it blew past deep research by over 17 percentage points setting a new record at 68.9%. Then there's Web Arena, a benchmark that simulates real-world web task completion. The ChatGPT agent outperformed the operator-powered version of GPT-3. That means it's not just good at finding information, it's good at doing something useful with it inside the browser. Now let's talk a bit about what's happening under the hood. The agent isn't restricted to just one tool or mode. It can switch between different environments depending on the task. There's a visual browser that mimics how a human browses the web, great for interactive tasks. There's also a text-based browser, faster, more efficient, and ideal for summarizing or filtering large volumes of text. And then there's a terminal, which allows the agent to run commands, execute scripts, and even download or manipulate files. All of this operates on its own virtual machine not your device. That means it retains persistent context throughout a session. It can open a web page, extract a file, run a script, and display the output, all without losing track of where it is in the workflow. And here's where things get even more integrated. ChatGPT agent connects to your apps using what OpenAI calls connectors. These are secure API bridges to services like Gmail, Google Calendar, GitHub, and more. Once authenticated, ChatGPT can summarize your inbox, find open time slots on your calendar, analyze your GitHub repo for recent commits. You'll still need to log in manually in your browser for security reasons. But once authenticated, the agent can move freely across those services and automate complex workflows. But here's the thing, when you give a model this much power, especially one that can take real world actions, safety becomes a top priority. OpenAI is treating this agent as having high biological and chemical capability risk under their preparedness framework. That doesn't mean the model has actually been used to cause harm, but OpenAI is operating under the assumption that it could potentially be misused, for example, to accelerate dangerous activities like bioweapon development or chemical synthesis if someone found a way to exploit it. Because of that, OpenAI has implemented what they're calling their most comprehensive safety stack yet. First off, there's real-time monitoring. Every prompt you enter is scanned by a classifier to detect if it's related to biology. If it is, the response is filtered through a second layer to determine whether it might enable any kind of harm. They've also disabled memory for the agent. So unlike regular ChatGPT, this version doesn't remember past conversations. That's a critical move because memory could be exploited to leak sensitive information through clever prompt injections. 
And speaking of that, prompt injection is a major threat in the world of agentic AI. Think about it. You're letting the agent browse websites. What if a malicious actor hides instructions in invisible text on a page? If the agent reads those hidden commands, it might carry out actions you never approve, like leaking data from one of your connectors or even making purchases. That's not science fiction. It's a real concern. That's why OpenAI trained the agent to recognize and resist these kinds of manipulative traps. Plus, before it takes any action with real consequences, like making a purchase or sending an email, it will always ask for your explicit permission. There's also something called watch mode. For certain sensitive tasks, this requires your active supervision in real time. So if the agent is emailing someone or managing your calendar, you can see everything it's doing live and intervene at any moment. On top of that, OpenAI has built a full suite of privacy controls. One-click deletion of browsing data, immediate logout from active sessions, per website cookie management, and when you manually take over the browser to log in, any data you type, like passwords, is never seen or stored by the model. That browser input remains completely private. Even with all these safeguards, OpenAI acknowledges there are still limitations. For instance, slide deck creation is still in beta. The formatting can sometimes be a bit off, and right now, it doesn't support uploading your own slides for the agent to edit. But they're working on it, and they've already started training the next version to be more refined with broader formatting support. Another key point, ChatGPT agent is rolling out gradually. If you're a pro user, you should already have full access with a limit of 400 messages per month. Plus and team users are getting access over the next few days. But with a smaller cap, 40 messages monthly, unless you purchase additional credits. Enterprise and education users are next in line, though the rollout for them is still a few weeks out. And if you're in the European Economic Area or Switzerland, unfortunately, you'll need to wait a bit longer. Access isn't available there just yet. Now here's one last detail that really matters for web developers, publishers, and SEOs. This shift toward agentic AI fundamentally changes how websites should be designed. Structured content is now more important than ever. Things like clearly labeled input fields and forms, consistent product listings, clean, well-formatted tables, accurate, explicit labels for prices and dates. All of this helps AI agents understand, interact with, and take action on your site more effectively. The more structured your content, the better these agents can parse and perform useful tasks on it. The truth is, most people still think AI is some far off future. But in reality, regular folks are already using it, quietly building income streams behind the scenes. If you want to see exactly how they're doing it, Without coding skills or quitting their jobs, grab the AI Income Blueprint. It's totally free right now. Links in the description. Just a heads up, it won't stay free forever. So if you're running an e-commerce platform or a content-heavy website, remember, you're no longer optimizing just for humans. You're now optimizing for AI agents too. And that's it. ChatGPT agent is here. It's real. And it's probably going to change the way we all get things done online. Whether it's planning trips, managing meetings, analyzing business competitors, or editing complex spreadsheets, this thing can now do it end to end. Just tell it what you need, and it gets to work. That's all for now. Catch you in the next one.